Well, hi everyone. My name is Nathaniel, and this morning I've got the privilege of being with two lovely people who are part of our Riverside Church family. Uh, they are Tim and Caroline. How are you doing, guys? Yeah, we're really good, thank you. Good, good. Um, could you just start off by telling me a little bit about what you guys do? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm a pastry chef. I've been working uh, for about the last sort of 12 years uh, all over the world, and uh, I co own the Early Bird. Uh, and I'm Caroline, and I work in digital marketing, um, and I actually do the uh, social media for the Early Bird Maker as well. Brilliant. So, digital marketing definitely a really useful and crucial job at this time where so much has moved uh, online and virtual. And uh, Tim, big fan of the early bird bakery i would frequent there many a time before lockdown and uh really love that <laughs> so you you guys are both christians could you just tell me how being a christian affects the way that you guys work or, or do business uh yeah sure um so uh we um involve god uh in all our decisions uh big and small um but um, I think sometimes, I guess you're not always fully aware of how kind of faith shapes uh, the way you run your business. Um, when I moved back to Birmingham, um, I knew I kind of wanted to set up a coffee shop cafe. Uh, and when we kind of reflected back on the journey uh, that we'd been on to get to this stage, um, from just kind of like meeting our investor at church, uh, to finding our building, to all the different things, uh, we can clearly see God's hand at work. Um, and I kind of think we have some sort of altruistic uh, goals. Uh, we kind of wanted to create a hospitality business where chefs can sort of develop their skills. Uh, the hospitality industry is kind of notorious for uh, long hours, uh, sort of badly equipped, badly staffed kitchens. It's it's, um, it's kind of quite, quite a short-term approach to staff, and so we wanted to kind of build uh, a business that was kind of the antithesis of that. Yeah, I, I think um, we, we pray about all the decisions that we make within the business. So, for example, at the moment, we're looking to recruit a new pastry chef. Uh, and it's so important that we are kind of praying into those situations because um, we're a small team. Uh, so it's crucial to kind of have the right people on board to kind of help move the business forward. Cool. And that's really interesting. And um, obviously, there's been loads of change that has been happening for people across the world in the past few months. Uh, could you talk? Us through a little bit about the change that you guys have had to make and how have you guys adapted uh, for this time of lockdown and stuff? Yeah, so I mean, at the start of the pandemic, um, we had to obviously close the business down, um, and we essentially had two options really it was either to kind of close down completely and just stay shut until this kind of ended. Um, or to kind of try something completely different. Um, we were really fortunate that at the time of the lockdown, we were actually having a new website built. Um, so we just got our web designers to see, well, we got them on board to basically build a shop for us. Um, so we were able to kind of hit the ground running as soon as lockdown came in um, with launching a online delivery service. So since the start, we've basically been doing home delivery um, every weekend, and it's proven to be really, really success successful. Um, we're baking different items each week to kind of keep things really interesting. Um, but it also gives our customers something new and exciting to look forward to every week as well. Yeah, I mean, I definitely look forward to what special week it is each time I have made the most of the online cake delivery, and I have no regrets about that. <laughs> <laughs> but going forward, kind of in the coming months and, and, and stuff, have you guys thought about, are you to go back to exactly how it was before lockdown, before the pandemic, or some of the ways that you've adapted, are you looking to keep those going forward? Um, I mean, uh, we, yeah, we are looking to sort of reopen the coffee shop uh, at some point. Um, whether or not it, it sort of um, goes back com completely to what it was before, I, I really don't know at the moment. I think kind of a lot of businesses are really unsure. Mm -hmm. um, I think the hospitality industry as a whole um, will sort of have to change, I think. I think people have enjoyed so much uh, kind of getting their food uh, delivered, uh, kind of having that thing on like a Saturday morning to wake up to, um, that knock at the door, that kind of excitement. Um, and so I think, um, yeah, I, we will be sort of back, but um, We'd like to form? incorporate the delivery in some format to yeah. kind of what we deliver in the future, I guess. Mm. 
I think there's such an appetite for it at the moment as well. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That's really cool. Um, there's a lot of people within Riverside who have taken steps to bless others in the community. And an example of that is the way that you two have off your own backs arranged for cakes to be delivered to different Riversiders in order to, to bless them, either they're living on their own or going through a really hard time. And so we want to thank you and honor you guys for doing that. Um, but we also want to recognize and thank everyone who has generously given either time or resources to their neighbors, to their community, and to other people in Riverside. Honestly, the little bit that you do goes a really, really long way as people are finding this time tough. And so the way that we can be community and family for one another is huge. Have you guys kind of, how have you found it kind of part of that and, and taking that step to kind of deliver cakes for people in Riverside? Um, well, we're quite new to Riverside. We only joined a couple of months before the lockdown started. So this has really given us an opportunity to, more meet, to meet more people within the church. Um, and I've been having some lovely doorstep conversations uh, with various people. Um, so yeah, it's, it's been great to kind of introduce us to the church really. Yeah, yeah, and I think um, although cake isn't kind of a human necessity and we haven't really sort of been quite on the front line, um, we have kind of seen some of the sort of emotional responses um, that our small gesture has met uh, a need uh, within people. Um, and so it's been great to sort of them, let them know, I think, that the church is thinking of them. Mm. Definitely, it's really it's huge. That's brilliant. So uh, we just love to see the way that you guys have creatively adapted and also use, and use this as an opportunity to reach out and, and bless other people. And that's really, really great. Well, thank you guys so much for taking the time this morning um, to share with us. We wanted to obviously continue to bless you guys and bless your business. And um, we'll keep you guys in our prayers going forward with the different decisions that you have to make.